Chad Carnes with MCA Connect, and you're watching another episode of 5 Good Minutes in Microsoft Dynamics AX. Today we're going to talk about uh, my six favorite words. I need a report for that. And today I'm going to tell you why in Microsoft Dynamics AX that's not necessarily the case. And that uh, really the question you need to be asking is, what grid do I need to use? So today we're going to take a look at grids, and I'm going to show you how to empower users in order to create their own reports using the out-of-the-box user interface grids in Microsoft Dynamics AX. Go ahead and jump into AX, and I'm going to click into the uh, Accounts Payable area, CEU, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at Open Vendor Invoices. These are invoices that have been invoiced, but they haven't yet been paid yet. So in the accounting world, uh, we want to be able to see uh, what, we, uh, what we need to pay and then kind of what the date and what the aging might look like. So I'm going to go to that grid, I'm going to right click, say personalize, and when I do that, here are all the fields that I can add into this grid. So unlike a standard report that we might be able to filter by, this we can actually add new fields to the grid, and I went ahead and added voucher. And as you can see, the voucher shows up in the grid in the action pane, and I'm going to save this template as open invoices with vouchers. I say OK. I close that, and now you can see that in the second column, uh, vouchers has now populated in the grid. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit Control G, and that uh, puts a filter in the grid. So now I'm going to filter by everything that starts with INV. And everything that starts with INV is actually a purchase order invoice. So it's invoices on purchase orders. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and save the filter that I put in that grid and say Open Vendor uh, Invoices. So now when I click that, uh, now I'm also going to put another filter in here and says Just Vendor Account 1001. I'm going to go ahead and save that as a filter as well. So we'll call it Open Vendor Invoices with vouchers for 1001. So when I click the drop down there, I'm actually going to close the grid and I'm going to come back in. And when I come back into the grid, you can see that I've got the filters still saved in the grid. To make it easy, next time I come in or uh, next week or next month when I want to uh, see uh, these different filters. So I hit Control-T and I can automatically drop that grid into Excel. And now I'm going to go ahead and create a, a Power Pivot report. So one thing about the SSRS reports is they don't always give it to you in the format you want. So us accountants who want to be able to cut up data, uh, you know, we want it in a uh, kind of a tabular column form. So now I'm just creating a simple pivot table. I'm going to change this over to classic. I brought in the vendor account, the vendor name. Uh, I'm going to bring in the amount that's open in the values. And then I'm going to throw a date field in here on, on the date it posted. And this gives me, and now in about five seconds, I've created a quick aging on my uh, open payable items. So I'm going to right click the column, I'm going to say group, and then I'm going to group it by year and month. So that quickly, we've created an aging for uh, accounts payable. So now I'm going to go ahead and save that file to my desktop here so that if I need it, I, I can have it. Now basically, uh, now I'm going to come in here and kind of show you how we can save these filters to a kind of a common location. So I'm going to click on the filter, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put in, I'm going to right click it again, and I'm going to say save as a queue instead of save as a filter. So I save it as a filter, then I save it as a queue. So now I'm going to save it as open vendor invoices by INV. Now I can show some of fields, but I'm going to save it for everyone. Now I'm going to go to my role center. So the interesting thing is, is I can add, um, I can add, a, I'm going to edit the page and uh, under activities uh, there, I'm going to add a new, I'm going to click and ed edit new web part. So I added a new web part. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and say add a queue. Uh, and in that queue, I'm going to go ahead and pick the one that I created. So if you see there, open vendor invoices by INV. So I'm going to say show sum of fields, and I'm going to say show alert when count is above 100. So I can say OK. And as you can see under activities, I now have open vendor invoices by INV. Now, when I go to that role center and I click it, it now shows me um, exactly what I want to see, uh, and it actually takes me to that. Uh, open vendor invoice tab. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the uh, what we've covered in our overview. Uh, with AX2012 grids, we've learned to personalize to bring in new data uh, connected to the tables uh, into a grid. We've learned to filter that grid by hitting Control G and then placing a parameter with wildcards in the grid. We've we talked about how to save that filter and how to come back to it later. We've uh, placed grids into Excel using the Control T shortcut. Um, we've also built pivot tables off of those grids once we've dropped them into Excel. We went further and said, let's save that filter as a queue and that so that we could easily access uh, that activity and that grid from our role center so that we didn't have to click multiple times. So hopefully now, based filter. on this training, you now are asking the right questions about what grid do I need to look at? And maybe even ask your developer, hey, maybe we can add something to the grid instead of creating a new out-of-the-box report. 
Again, thank you for following us. Uh, we got over 120 views on our last, uh, our, our first video on Power Pivot, uh, including all the way from India to the UK uh, to here in the United States. So I appreciate the support. I appreciate people that hit me up on LinkedIn. Please, again, you can contact me uh, at, the, at my LinkedIn page. You can contact me on Twitter, uh, Dynamics AX Guy, uh, or you can contact me at MCA Connect. Please leave a comment and give us some feedback. Uh, we're even thinking about doing a whole blog on just uh, your questions. I appreciate your time, and again, come back and join us for another episode of 5 Good Minutes in Microsoft Dynamics AX.